bro, we have Sony, Nintendo, and Xbox News in one epic video. It's lit too, boy. Intro. Oh, Yes, right. What's up? All right. Give it a thumbs up, like the video. I know you ain't watched it yet, but it's gonna be fire. Like the video, and in two days, I'm gonna be announcing our giveaway winner. Subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter to get in the giveaway. A $60 digital code for PlayStation, Xbox, or Nintendo Switch is up for grabs. Do it every month. So let's go get it, bro. The Bigfoot of Nintendo. The Loch Ness Monster of Nintendo, Metroid Prime 4, the game that was announced in 2017, <laughs> and we have only heard that it was cancelled, who was working on it, and they switched development studios back to Retro Studios, bro, we've got a pretty big update breaking news, Retro Studios has hired a Call of Duty Black Ops veteran to be on t the team to make this game. Now, I'm convinced this game is going to be real good for Nintendo. We don't know what the story is going to be like, but one thing I know, the gameplay is about to be solid. All right, specifically... Um, the dude's name is Barwathach. I, I butchered his first name. His nickname is Bat. Bat and his last name is even worse. Nanda Kumar. Um, he has been hired by Retro Studios. And he's worked on um, every single Black Ops game to date. As, and he's been hired as a lead engineer. Um, from Well, he was a lead engineer from the Call of Duty series. He's been hired by Retro. Bro, whatever you say about Call of Duty, because I'm not even a big Call of Duty fan, but one thing you can't admit, the gameplay is always solid, bro. Call of Duty, they've nailed the first-person shooter gameplay. Matter of fact, Pretty much a lot of other first party shooters copy Call of Duty. So to have that qual caliber of developer, and this is just adding to the list. They've hired tons and tons of great developers for this game. This game is going to, I don't think it's going to come out on the current Switch that we have. Whatever Nintendo announces next for the next gen Switch, the Switch Plus, whatever, that's what it, it, it'll be on. This is probably the only Nintendo Switch game that I'm super, super duper hyped for. Yeah, Breath of the Wild 2, looking out for that too, but Metro Prime 4, bro. Come on, Nintendo. Where has this game been? So, Call of Duty Black Ops Veteran is now on board. You can expect quality gameplay with this game. The Metro Prime series have always been first person, so they got the cream of the crop to make sure the gameplay is solid, solid, solid for this game. All right, next news item. Let's talk about that PlayStation 5, bro. The system that, in my opinion, is in the lead for next gen. It hasn't even started yet, but bro that presentation that sony did was epic bro back to back to back games spider-man miles morales coming out this year that g um gran turismo 7 ratchet and clank if they would have just shown ratchet and clank that would have been enough bro ratchet and clank that kena game um horizon 2 westward bound it was just a dope presentation convinced me to get a playstation 5 day one but epic games they've been heaping a lot of 
praise on the PlayStation 5. And you can tell they have, they've partnered, they've been working closely with Sony develop, to develop Unreal Engine 5. This is that gameplay um, demo um, of Unreal Engine 5 working natively, running natively on a PlayStation 5. And um, Nick Penwarden, the vice president of Epic Games, had even more praise for the PlayStation 5. This is what he says, and I quote, The PlayStation 5 is a masterpiece of systems design. Not only is it driving a huge leap in computing and graphics performance, but it's also revolutionary in terms of storage and data compression technology, unlocking new kinds of games and experiences for players to enjoy. And I've already reported on, I thought that this was just going to be, okay, faster load screens, but um, it's actually going to help with the processing, computing processing, the fast SSD. So I can't wait to see how Epic taps into the power of the PlayStation 5. It's already been reported. Fortnite, Fortnite will be moving to Unreal Engine 5 for next gen. So I can't wait to see what next gen Fortnite looks like on the PlayStation 5. But um, praises continue to be heaped on the system. And this is, this is it, bro. PlayStation 5, solid hardware. Xbox, great hardware. It's going to come down to the games, bro. And Sony has already knocked it out the ballpark for me, man. And so I can't wait to see what Microsoft announces in July to see what kind of games they offer. But next gen, I have a feeling, should be lit. All right. So you talking about next gen. What about this gen in Nintendo? Just a reminder. Min Min comes out for Super Smash Brothers tonight. Expected release time will be either 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time um, um, according to a website um, a technolo is technology section of republicworld.com never heard of this website but they're expecting between 8 and 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the release of Min Min for my sponsors I'm going to have a Super Smash Brothers prize tournament on my gaming channel Obi-Wan Plays Gaming Championships um, winner gets a $20 eShop code tonight around 9.30 Eastern Standard Time we're going to have a prize tournament uh, become a sponsor bro the links are in the description and the news is, bro, we got two more news items, bro. I told you this video is going to be epic, bro. Sony, my favorite game is NBA 2K20. NBA 2K, the series. NBA 2K20 is getting, is now going to be free on PlayStation starting July 7th. It's one of Sony's PlayStation Plus free games. As long as you're a PlayStation Plus subscriber, NBA 2K20 is yours for free on the PlayStation 4, which I think is pretty dope. This begs me to um, question. I'm waiting. Of course, 2K has to announce this. If I'm going to buy NBA 2K21 on my PlayStation 4, if it comes out before the PlayStation 5 comes out, when the PlayStation 5 drops, I better not have to spend another $60. I'm thinking they're going to do what EA is doing with Madden. You buy Madden two, you buy Madden 21 on the PlayStation 4, you get the free upgrade for the PlayStation 5. That's only good business practice. 2K will be shooting themselves in the foot. The fans would rage, but we'll all still buy the game. I'm currently I'm, I'm grinding a two-way guard on... Uh, on the PlayStation 4. That's, I haven't been on 2K that much. I uh, sort of been there, done that on the Switch. Been there, done that on the Xbox. It's the end of the 2K20 season, so um, on a, I'm playing it on the PlayStation 2. I'm, I'm also playing to recruit some clan members. We, we're going to be lit next year, bro. All right, also, the last news item. Microsoft. Bro, Eagle Eye fans noticed two Twitter accounts were registered um, 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 two franchises were regist recently registered one for Fable and one for Perfect Dark but and so many started to speculate oh the July event is coming new Perfect Dark is going to be announced new um, Fable game is going to be announced but Aaron Greenberg from Microsoft Microsoft executive Aaron Greenberg he's 
put the speculations to rest. This is what he replied. I know everyone is hungry for news, but sorry to get your hopes up. These accounts have been inactive for years. It's standard practice to secure social handles for our IP. And so that's what he says, but I find it a coincidence. They're doing this right before the July event. It would be lit for them to announce. Fable 4 has been heavily rumored. Perfect Dark, that's been slightly rumored too. So can't wait to see. I want to see the games, bro. I want to see them games. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro, click that subscribe button. Stay up to date. All things gaming, bro. We out. Bruh, put Min Min in the bin bin. We want twin tail. You still watching this video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash ob1 plays you'll thank me later also check out the swag bro links are in the description i'll see you later deuces